When a snake sighting sends homeowners scurrying, Gavin Smith rushes to their rescue. Yes, it's, it's, it's dangerously venomous, but it's very shy. He's regularly called to Canberra homes to save snakes from a potentially nasty interaction. So many things out here in the suburbs that are out to get them. Um, it might be cars, it might be lawnmowers, it might be humans with shovels. Normally, snakes caught in the suburbs are translocated into bush reserves, from 2 to 20 kilometres away, depending on state and territory laws. But how far is too far? And how do the snakes get on with their new neighbours? So as we start going in here, we're just going to be careful because this is very, um, very, very good snake country. For the last few years, Gavin Smith has led a snake tracking program where the reptiles are microchipped and their movements mapped. Where you are now, Craig, is where I think the snake is going to come out. Oh, wow, look at the size of that snake. He's looking so good. That is a large eastern brown snake. <laughs> wow. This is one of Gavin's favourite subjects, and at 1.7 metres, one of the bigger eastern browns you're likely to see. It's been a really good couple of years for snakes, hasn't it? I mean, I've been doing this since 2016, um, and, and, and obviously started the camera snake tracking project with a team of people in 2020. This season we're in now, the season we're in now, has been undoubtedly the best for chunky, well-conditioned snakes. And we can tell that as well because we've had a lot of, um, this year, a lot of dead snakes on the roads. And that for me is a sign that the population numbers are quite, are quite healthy. The tracking project is giving researchers an intimate insight into snake behaviour, informing them on how we might better live side by side. The other part of it is trying to communicate what we're learning about these animals to the public and try and show the Eastern Brown in a new light. Um, in a light that's much more sensitive to the animal and its plight. Gavin Smith says despite popular hysteria, snakes are more interested in getting away from people than harming them. It's not what you see on social media, them coming charging at people, it's just trying to stay out of sight, undercover. And if you spot one too close for comfort, well, stay still, give them space. And remember, they were here first. Craig Allen, ABC News, Canberra.